for children when you inhale and release carbon dioxide from the vaccine. So, people who smoke have the greatest risk of lung cancer. True lung cancer can also occur in people who have never smoked. So, the risk of lung cancer increases with the lack of time and number of cigarettes you have smoked. So, if you quit smoking, even after smoking for many years, you can significantly reduce your ch chances of developing lung cancer. So, next I'll be talking about the causes of the lung cancer. So, okay. So, the first one is the smoking. So, smoking actually is the main causes for lung cancer. So, you can see that it causes about 90% of lung cancer cases. Okay, so uh, tobacco smoke contains many chemicals that are known to cause lung cancer. So for example, if you are a former smoker, your risk is decreased, but has not, has not gone away completely. You can still get lung cancer, although you are a former smoker. So, um, actually, lung smokers also can be affected by smoking, because breathing in secondhand smoke puts you, puts you at risk for lung cancer or other illness. So, you need like, don't start smoking to reduce the risk of of getting the lung cancer. So the second causes is radon. Radon exposure is the second leading cause of lung cancer. So actually radon is like a gas, it's colorless, odorless radioactive gas that exists naturally in soil. So as you can see in this picture, so it comes through the soil, from the soil and then will enter the building through the small gaps and press. We'll enter through here and then we'll go inside like release inside your house. So exposure to uh, one of every 15 homes in US is subject to radon exposure. So exposure to radon combined with cigarette smoking increases your lung cancer risk. Okay, so the third cause is hazardous chemicals. Hazardous chemicals is um it's actually like like materials such as as well as, uh, uranium, uh, nickel, and many. So if you think you may breathe in hazardous chemicals at your job, so talk to your employer or your doctor to find out to protect yourself. So like for example, like chemical engineer, hazardous waste chemists, they always like um. Like breathing the hazardous chemicals, so it's really bad and will cause lung cancer. So the next cause is particle pollution. Actually, particle pollution is kind of like air pollution, it's because it's a particle in the air. It refers to a mix of every tiny solid and liquid particles that are in the air we breathe. So evidence shows that particle pollution like that comes from that exhaust smoke and it will increase the risk of lung cancer. So the last cause is genes. Genes is, um, if your family history, like for example your family got someone who getting lung cancer, so you might get a high, higher risk of getting the disease. So if other in your family have or ever had lung cancer, it's important to mention this to your doctor so that you can prevent from lung cancer. Okay, so next, I'm okay, talking about effects. So, the effects of lung cancer, the first one you can see that is the shortness of breath. So, people with lung cancer can experience shortness of breath if cancer grows to block the major airways. So, the lung cancer can also cause fluid to accumulate around the lungs, making it harder for the affected lung to expect, expand fully when you inhale. So, the next effect is coughing out blood. So, lung bleeding in the airway, which can cause you to cough out blood. So sometimes the bleeding, bleeding will be very serious, so, but treatments are available to control the bleeding. So the third one is pain. When you get the lung cancer, like your body, the, another radio, area of the body will pain, so such as bone, yeah, can cause pain. So if you are like experienced pain, tell your doctor, so the doctor will give you the treatments. Okay, the fourth one is food in chest. So lung cancer can cause food to accumulate in the space that surrounds the affected lung in the chest. So treatments are also available to 
to drain the fluid from your chest and reduce the risk. Okay. The last one is cancer that separates to other parts of the body. So if you get lung cancer, actually the lung cancer will separate to the, to the other parts of the body. So, like for example, the cancer that separates can cause pain, headache, and other signs. So, treatments are also available to decrease the size and symptoms and to help you live longer.